Hello, my name is Jim Evans. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for LSI MegaRay Flash Technology Solutions. Today I'll be presenting on Cascade Software and MegaRay FastPass Software Advanced Options. These options, combined with industry-leading MegaRay controllers, enable, enable users to address key business challenges that deliver a higher return on their IT investments. These offerings enhance performance and provide advanced data management and protection for white box channel customers employing 6 gigabit per second MegaRay SAS and SATA controllers. Key objectives and topics I'll be covering today will be in understanding SSD trends and how they and how our solutions are addressing these new technology trends, and an introduction to the our new flash technology solutions, which are MegaRate Cascade and MegaRate FastPath, and also understanding the application or workload qualifiers uh, behind these solutions, and also understanding some of the basic functionality and use cases and value proposition, propositions for these technologies. The introduction of SSDs presents one of the most radical shifts in data storage since the advent of Winchester hard drives in the 80s. Flash-based flash -based storage brings a lot of new benefits to uh, server computing and disk storage subsystems, primarily those those benefits are, are much better performance, much higher reliability, and much better thermal characteristics. However, there are some challenges. Some of those challenges um, are the fact that it's still an immature technology, so there's a number of, of, of uh, technical challenges that are getting in the way of mass deployment. And there's also the impl impl implementation costs the cost per gigabyte per SSD is much higher than traditional hard disk drive configurations. And plus, there's a number of other protocol changes and controller changes that are required to optimize um, complete solutions for the market today. Okay, so what is MegaRate Cascade and MegaRate FastPath? MegaRate FastPath, as you can see here on the left, the diagram on the left, is a high-performance I.O. accelerator for solid-state disk drive arrays connected to a MegaRate controller. As you can see here, the solid-state drives are configured as a data array connected directly to the controller. And this is the fastest data protect protection implementation for SSD devices on the market today. Uh, currently, we are reaching up to 150,000 plus um, transactional IOPS. Um, this is particularly true with small block read and write um, implementations. This advanced software solution is optimized for versions of LSI MegaRate technology that can dramatically boost storage, boost storage subsystem bandwidth and overall application performance when deployed with 6 gig MegaRay controllers. And Cascade, which is the diagram on the right, deliver, can deliver up to 50x performance improvement in read-intensive applications with relatively small working data set sizes, such as web and file servers and online transactional processing. This solution is designed to accelerate the performance of hard disk drive arrays without requiring a major investment in the SSD technology. So what this technology essentially does is rather than in the, in the uh, rather than with FastPath, the SSDs are imported into array into the uh, disk array as um, as a caching device. So only the 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 read and write intensive data or hot data is being pulled into the um, is is being pulled into the disk cache. So. You get the advantage of the hard disk drives. The, the, you get the advantage of the low latency and high performance of solid state drives without the, the high cost uh, barrier of, of configuring your storage using entirely solid state disk drive arrays. The next few slides I'll be covering Cascade and some of the application value opportunities for, that you that where you'll be able to benefit from this technology. 
Cascade is really best suited for small working data set applications. And this includes data that is frequently being read and reread from a very from a relatively small working data set. Um, this is you'll you'll see the maximum benefit and performance boost from Cascade. And how it works is the data that is the hot data is it will typically reside in in the SSD itself. So even though you have a hard disk drive volume behind your RAID controller and SSD cache, the amount of data that is actively being read is, is relatively small and can fit inside the SSD um, or the SSD cache or cache array. And as you can see on the right, the uh, illustration on the right is just a different way to illustrate how that works. The, the vertical axis represents um, relative access frequency of the data. So if you have high frequency, a high frequency of data access from a, a relatively small working data set size, this solution is an ideal candidate for, um, for your customer. And typically, this represents um, web page serving or web page hosting type um, application profiles. And in, th in this, this is a slightly different application opportunity for Cascade as well. In transactional databases such as OLTP and S SQL, and even in some email applications, um, the, the larger working data sets will require more Cascade SSDs to scale the performance. But if you can scale a small number of SSDs or a small number of SSD capacity to cover the majority of that working data set, those applications, because of their small block random uh, their small block random read intensity will will still be able to leverage the cascade uh, software stack today cascade is optimized and tuned for write intensive app or excuse me for read intensive applications uh, we will be launching a product um, in the future that will take advantage of write um, write profiles as well, but today the solution that we offer today is really tuned for read intensive applications, which is why we're focusing on web servers in the previous instance, and in this instance we're database and tr transactional database and email applications can benefit from this technology. And at the same time, we are also developing real application performance um, uh, benchmark uh, uh, documentation and reports uh, based on a number of testing and investigation we've done. And those will be available on the, the, uh, the channel portal, the channel customer or VAR portal on the LSI website very soon. In this instance, we have three different um, application profiles. In the top left is a Microsoft SQL database, a 50,000 customer database. Um, below that is a Microsoft Exchange uh, server application, and to the right is a, is a 100 gigabyte MySQL database. And in each of these in instances, as you can see, the, the left, the, the far left bar for the top one is the baseline implementation without Cascade soft, without Cascade and SSDs. And as you scale the number of SSDs in the configuration from one to four, the database dramatically proved, improves its performance, um, um, and actually will can will scale to double the performance once you've added enough SSD capacity, which is four SSDs in that configuration. And to the right, the MySQL. Um, the MySQL uh, application performance uh, transactional uh, benchmark test shows the same type of scaling, where you, where you go from zero um, SSDs in the Cascade cache to three, actually, is where we see the peak performance in this installation. Because once you get to three SSDs, you're containing the entire database in the SSD cache uh, that's being read, that's being accessed by the host application. And the bottom left, exchange stress, stress test um, benchmark. In this instance, we're not showing the scaling of the ap application with, uh, as you scale the number of SSDs. This is just showing the overall um, um, 
application performance for Exchange. While not as dramatic as the database benchmarks, it's still showing approximately a 20% performance in increase um, that's achieved um, that's the overall um, IO database writes and reads average. Um, but as I mentioned before, the, the, um, in an Exchange environment, you're getting a lot more writes to the, to, from, from the application, so, um, which is why the, the performance isn't quite as dramatic. So beyond uh, actual overall transactional performance increases or improvements, you'll also, by even though SSDs cost significantly more than hard disk drives, the actual um, cost per transaction goes down as you add the number as you add SSDs to your cascade array. In each of these instances, um, the uh, the cascade software using um, SSDs will actually scale downward or the, the cost per transaction scales downward very significantly in all three in all three application scenarios. And this foil demonstrates another way to, to look at the uh, cash case uh, use uh, scenario advantages. Um, particularly in read intensive applications such as a web server. Uh, the diagram, this diagram shows two different configurations with um, a, a RAID, mega RAID RAID controller and on the left you have five SAS hard disk drives and on the right you have two SATA hard drives and a RAID 1 mirror plus a, a single SSD for caching. So this is pretty much a, a minimal uh, configuration for cache K, but we can still show, show significant advantage. On the configuration on the right, with a with a, a 500 gigabyte uh, capacity uh, data capacity on the two SATA drives plus the one SSD um, cache in cache, you can achieve up to 15,000 IOPS in, in a read intensive application such as a web server. Now, in order on the right, a five SAS hard disk drive array, um, in order to get um, any decent IOPS out of it, you'll need to short stroke the drive, so you're only taking advantage of 10% of the drive capacity, which leaves you with only 80 gigabytes of disk capacity, and your performance only increases to about um, 1,650 IOPS. And the reason we're showing this is because they're both relatively equal in um, uh, 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 price configurations. Now, if you want to take this one step further and see what, would it, what it would take for this 3 gig SAS without cascade configuration to, to meet the same uh, uh, performance, uh, the, to meet the same IOPS performance number, we'll move to the next slide. In order to, in order to reach, attain that 15,000 IOPS uh, benchmark, you'd need to employ approximately 50 hard disk drives, uh, still short stroke to 10%, but you will have, which will give you about an 800 gigabyte storage capacity, but your, the cost differentiation is much more dramatic, as you can see, over $18,000 for this configuration, which includes the drives, the two enclosures to, to contain all the drives, plus the rest of the server uh, hardware. So what types of applications would are optimal for FastPath? Well, FastPath, any application with large active data sets um, and wider I.O. access ranges show much less improvements with Cascade today. And, ca and cache hit rates in, in those scenarios are relatively lower because of the heavy write requests and broader range of I.O. accesses and data activity profiles. So these solutions are much better, a much better fit for FastPath, where you take the entire disk volume and create a, uh, a an SSD-based disk volume to remove the, the latencies from that configuration. So just to reiterate, applications that require the highest transactional throughput uh, and 
want and require critical data on the RAID volumes uh, are the most optimal configuration for FastPath. And I also wanted to mention that we also have a feature called SSD Guard, which will actually preemptively replace the data on drives that are, that are going to be failing uh, in the near future. So as you can see in the benchmarks below, small block random reads and small block random writes show considerable performance improvements over identical configurations that do not have fast path enabled. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, one of our biggest competitors in this market is only able to reach about 40,000 IOPS in um, small block random reads, where we're already hitting more than 150,000. But I also like to point out that there are a number of small block uh, transactional, uh, real world transactional uh, applications that can leverage this technology, particularly um, um, OLTP or small uh, transactional processing database applications. We're, here we're showing over 147,000 IOPS, IOPS per second um, in, in the 4K configurations. And this was, this was reached using eight Intel X25e enterprise at, um, SSDs. These are the SLC SSDs. And this was a RAID 0 configuration. But I'd also like to point out that RAID 5 configurations show very similar performance patterns, particularly with, um, with, uh, in the read, in, um, in read operations. And also with RAID 5 write um, performance, or RAID 5 write operations also, also show significant performance advantage. Today we're currently getting approximately 20,000 IOs per second in, in RAID 5 random writes with, with FastPath enabled. The same configuration with FastPath disabled um, is only reaching approximately 8,000 IOs per second. And I'd also like to note that with each new release of firmware, we're, we, we're, we plan on improving that number until we get to the next generation of product where we'll have a significant jump in performance. So how does the advanced software key work, or how do you, how do you activate the software on, on the Mega Ray controller? So today, with the, the, today's solutions, we offer a hardware key, and this hardware key is basically a T-SOC with a two-pin header, and you uh, connect that that device to the Mega Ray card, as we're pointing out here in this illustration. And once you and it, once you connect that device to the card to the controller, once you power on on the Ray card, that soft that that feature, either FastPass, Cascade, or both, will be enabled on your system. Also. We will be launching an electronic fulfillment solution later this year. I believe that will be in uh, sometime in Q4 of 2010. But once we have that enabled, it will be a purely software transaction to enable the, our advanced software options. So just want to reiterate some of the key takeaways. I want to make sure. We understand that Mega Ray Cache Cape provides economical storage performance improvements for random I.O. workload, workloads uh, that are characterized by frequent reads and rereads um, with small to moderate.